group and you know in your career? What's it, what's it like? What's it feel like out there right now? It's a lot of fun. Um, haven't really been thinking about the end, even though we know it's near. We've just been going out there and, and enjoying each other's company. How fast is this four years been? It's been way too fast. And I tell people all the time, I feel like I just graduated high school and I just graduated college now. So it's, it went by too fast. How are you a different man? I've grown a lot in these past four years and like growth that I would never saw coming. So I appreciate UCF for all it's done for me. Well, let's go back to the beginning. 2016, you committed here. You had a lot of big offers from big colleges, Ohio State, LSU, a bunch of other programs. Why UCF at that point when they call home in the seat? I just had faith. And um, at the time, Coach Sean Beckton was recruiting me, and he was telling me, like, hey, we, we need guys like you here to turn this thing around. And like, once, once you get here, once the rest of your recruiting class get here, we're, we're going to be all right, I promise. And um, he held true to that promise going 13 and 0 within the next season. So, Did anybody at that moment, any of your friends, question your decision because of what you said was coming off of? Um, nope. A lot of people were just happy for me, yeah. like going to – a big name school like UCF was a big deal coming out of where I'm from, so they were just happy for me. Can you imagine now that we're four years after that and a 10 and 3 season that some people might be seen as a disappointment? Going from where you started from four years ago to now, is it sort of amazing how this has sort of evolved? Definitely. We, um, we're not disappointed at all by any circumstance that we were put in. We, we're appreciative from for being here, and it's been a lot of fun along the way. What's the legacy you leave? What do you want to leave? that we were the, the undefeated Knights and but still the only undefeated team in UCF history and more to come. So we want to be the, we want to be able to say that we were the first to do it and then when everybody else do it after us it's going to be really cool to know that we started that. And what about you as a player? What legacy do you leave? I played a lot of football here at UCF, yeah. a whole lot. <laughs> so I um hopefully I can go down in the Hall of Fame one day. Hope y'all mention my name. <laughs> is, that, is that something you would love to have? I would be honored to be even mentioned for the Hall of Fame. What do you guys know about Marshall in, in just a couple, week, a week or so to prepare for them? What, what do you know about them? A lot of respect for their their front seven up front. Their D line is really good, and um, we're we're gonna give them our best shot because we know they're gonna give us their best shot. What did Coach Frost uh, maybe tell you when you were trying to commit here about why you should have stayed under his roof? Um, Frost just told us that we we're gonna come in and change the culture around here. We're gonna be culture keepers and not only just change the culture, but we're going to keep that culture around here for a long time, man, and that has held true. Was there a moment or a, a part of your recruiting process where you knew, all right, that, that seals the deal for me. I'm definitely coming here. Probably when I took my official visit and I got around the people who I was going to spend the next four years with, and um, I met some really good people, and I knew that this was the place I wanted to be. I know you're not going to get to play with, again, with them, but on – you know, signing day when you see some of the guys that are come and follow you and your legacy there. Did, did you kind of bring a smile to your face to see some of the new talent that's going to kind of follow suit for you? Definitely. Um, I looked at the recruiting class that we just got and a couple of guys from Duval County to represent. So uh, that was really cool. I actually commented on a couple of their pictures like Duval. <laughs> <laughs> have you been able to, I know that while the season's still going on, it's different, but have you been able to reflect at all uh, about your personal journey? Not really. Yeah. Um, Make jokes here and there, like throughout the season. Like, if I do like a heads up play or like something that it takes experience to know, I just, hey, it's, it's year four, guys. I, I remind them that it's my it's my fourth year. That's why that's why I did something like that. <laughs> you, Nate, and AK are the three guys from that sixteen class who are all graduating now. Okay, obviously the guys in that class, like the Image and McKenzie, who are coming back for another year. But you three specifically, um, you just you talk about how amazing it's been these last four years with you three specifically. We, I got a lot of love for both of those guys. And to know what we've gone through and to see us down when we were down and, and back up when we were at the top. And it's just been a lot of fun and great experiences all around. Most memorable game for you? Um, probably still the Peach Bowl. When when Burkett took back that pick six, I was literally on the bench with my jaw dropped. Like, oh, we're really about to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there'll be a moment at the end of on, on Monday where you, they kind of all kind of hit you? Maybe that, that that's it? College yeah, maybe when I'm um, moving all of my stuff out of my apartment, that it'll hit me that I'm really done with college. How much of part of coming to UCF too was did you want to stay kind of close to home? I knew you had, you committed to Georgia Tech before that as well. Did you did you commit because you wanted to stay in the state of Florida? 
I think you've been there for a lot of reasons, but that was one of them. And um, I wanted to be um, really close to home. I wanted my brother went to Rutgers in New Jersey, and we're from Jacksonville, so that was a, a long flight for my mom. She didn't make a lot of his games, so I wanted my mom to be able to come to my games, and she literally came to every single game this year. You got an offer from Rutgers too. I you? did. Were you excited because you want you didn't you want her to be? I wanted to be at my games and supporting me.